What a night. <laughs> <laughs> That was an experience yeah. in many ways. Yeah. Calories don't count in Italy, haven't you heard? Yeah, it's like a new scientific <laughs> like trend going on. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we just walked 30 minutes carrying our suitcases most of the way from the sassy area of Matera to this random part of Matera to catch a bus to Positano. Yeah, it's still before six, so we felt bad dragging our suitcases through the residential areas and things on these bumpy sidewalks, so. We carried it. Got our uh, shoulder workout yeah, in I'm for the morning. Yeah, I'm feeling swole this yeah. morning. <laughs> now I just need some coffee. <laughs> yeah. We still have about 10 minutes or so until it's supposed to show up. But we're crossing our fingers, it does show up. There's like no markings at Flix bus, which is what we're taking. Stops here at all, but this is the address I was given. I've heard some mixed things about Flix bus. I've heard it can be really late, stuff like that, but it was ten dollars or ten euros a person to go three hours to Salerno and they'll take a ferry to Positano. So if it doesn't work out, I guess we'll figure out another solution. We went to the wrong stop. What stop? Oh no. We went too far. We see it, we see it though. I don't think it's gonna leave us. But we're running, just in case. What a morning. <laughs> Here I was saying, oh, I hear some kind of mixed things about Flix, but sometimes they're late, and then we were the ones. <laughs> I totally messed up. My bad, completely. I was like, Adam, this is right, this is right. He's like, I don't know, and I'm like, no, that's right. It was wrong. <laughs> We made it to Salerno, beautiful beach town. We have about an hour and a half to kill and we're on the hunt for some coffee. Oh, please. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. What coffee? I appreciate it. Coffee. And we got a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast at Champions. It is 9.25 and we have a brioche bun here with did you get three flavors? Yeah. Three flavors of gelato and some whipped cream right there in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, well, Calories don't count in Italy, haven't you heard? Yeah, it's like a new scientific like trend going on. Yeah, yeah it's, it's proven. I saw this place when I was just researching where we could get coffee in the area and it just seemed way too unique to pass up. Yeah. So here we are. <laughs> All right, mama's gonna have a bath. Well, <laughs> this is like this is the Italian version of an ice cream sandwich and I'm all about it oh my god it's so good <laughs> we talked about getting our own no I think it's huge mm. I mean I would have done it but I'm glad we didn't To get from Salerno to Positano, we are gonna be taking Travel Mar, which is a ferry that runs to a bunch of different places along the coast. It's about an hour long ride, and the best part, it was only 27 euros for both of us, which is a really great deal, because if you're in Positano and you wanna go on like a boat cruise while you're there, they only, at least that we could find, they only do private cruises. So we would have had to have a whole boat to ourselves, which we didn't want really, like that's, we don't need a whole boat to ourselves. And it's really expensive, I think kind of around like $300. So this is a great cheap way for us to one, get there, and two, also see awesome scenery without having to pay a ton of money. We made it! Alright, after a bunch of steps and a crazy bus ride, we made it to our Airbnb. Ooh, and it has AC. Even yeah. better. <laughs> So Positano is absolutely beautiful, but also very busy and very hot. So, yeah, a lot, a lot more busy than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> it is really crazy busy. So hopefully we can like find little nooks to have somewhat to ourselves. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be hard coming from like Matera and the Dolomites where we didn't experience many people to coming here and it's like a madhouse, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And we cannot wait to like lay on the beach and just kind of relax a bit. I'm very excited. Me too. But what's even more exciting is the view from our Airbnb. It's sick. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're on a mission to find lunch. So 
So for lunch, we came to a place called La Teria, which is basically like a little mini market. And then they have an area in the back where they have um, kind of just a bunch of like pre-made food options. I think you can get sandwiches freshly made too. And yeah, you just kind of say what you want and we got a lot of food, but we are saving some of this for breakfast tomorrow because we have an early morning and we won't be able to get something out. But yeah, we got lasagna, meatballs, ravioli, a noodle thing, and then also some veggies and it looks really good. So that place was delicious. Oh man, it's so good. It was like hard to stop, um, but it's perfect. If you're like on your way down to the beach, you can grab a sandwich to go. You can grab some other items if you're heading back to your hotel or Airbnb, or you can also eat there like we did. Yeah, it's a great place to go if you're trying to be a little more, a little bit more budget conscious. We haven't been to any of the restaurants yet, but this kind of is a more like bougie place to be. And it's, we try to be, you know, travelers on somewhat of a budget. We're not like the <laughs> lowest end of the budget travelers, but we are trying to be conscious of our money while we're here. So for us, like grab and go spots like that are great. So today is kind of just like our chores day. Um, we, you know, we got into town, we're pretty exhausted and we have a few things we need to take care of before tomorrow. Like get our bus tickets. And get our laundry done and get some work done. None of this is very glamorous or fun stuff, but unfortunately we're pretty much out of clothes. We only packed like a week's worth of clothes because we got rid of like everything for the van. And we're trying to balance working and having fun on this trip because we can't just leave some things behind and we don't want to be stressed when we get home. But now we're going to treat ourselves to a nice dinner out. Date night! <laughs> we are headed to a place called La Tagliata and it's actually located up in the mountains a bit and it's family run and one really cool thing that they do is they actually will send a shuttle to come pick you up since we don't have a car we have no way to get there so Perfect. it's really nice. <laughs> The shuttle was like 30 to 40 minutes late, so we stood outside for a while and we almost gave up, but it came and we're here and we're sitting on the terrace. It's absolutely beautiful. The sun is setting, the view is incredible. Something that makes this restaurant super special, like I said earlier, it's a family owned restaurant and all the family works here. We actually just met like two little kids that are like the future generation. And so they actually have no menu. They just cook whatever they want. And I think it's like five courses. So we just got the first course and it looks really good. They keep bringing food and I can't remember anything what he, of what he just said, what it is, but it all looks really good. So we're gonna start eating. So the food train just keeps, they just keep bringing plate after plate. So they brought us like an assortment of pastas here. So we have a, a gnocchi right here. Uh, this is mama's pasta. This is uh, ricotta stuffed ravioli with the pumpkin sauce. And uh, something with zucchini. Zucchini pasta here. <laughs> I'm so excited, it's so good. Meat sweats, here we go! And now one of my favorite parts, the dessert. So I only remember one of them. This one's tiramisu, and this one's a uh, ricotta and pear, I think he said. And this is like a fruit, I think he said a fruit cake, but I'm not really sure what all it entails. And then they also gave us some fruit to go with this. What a night. <laughs> <laughs> that Great. was an experience. Yeah. In many ways. Yeah, start to finish, like, I don't know, where, where do we begin? <laughs> where do we, let's talk about the actual dining portion of, well, so first, the shuttle was so late. So we were like, oh, this doesn't seem very promising. Like, are we even gonna get to go? And I called them to make sure they had our names down, they did. Finally, the shuttle shows up and we get to the restaurant and like, as soon as we sit down, they just start putting food on the table, Yeah, which is awesome. The shuttle thing was kind of expected though. We had heard like, yeah. in some reviews, They even right? warned like yeah. it might be late because there's like really just one road here yeah. that you drive on and it's pretty narrow it's... and there's like two ways of traffic and there's people sometimes parked on the sides. It's mm -hmm. like... It's like a lane and a half. It's if anyone's driven the road to Hana, it's kind of like that. Yeah. It's it's pretty crazy to yeah. watch and to we have to you have to walk on it too as like a pedestrian and just like squeeze to the side. It's so interesting. It's crazy, but yeah, the food was awesome. Yeah, just the food was every awesome. single. It was like course after course, and it was every single one was. Yeah, so it's delicious. a ton of food. It was a lot a of food. A ton of food. And we, you we, guys know, we like to eat. We like to so eat. So <laughs> it's rare that we leave a restaurant like super full. And we left, I'm, I mean, my stomach kind of hurts from how full it is. Like it, we were very happy with the portions, let's yeah. just say that. Yeah. And the service was really good too. And yeah. They, 
the little boy. They're very friendly, <laughs> and it's like a family feel kind of deal. And the little yeah, boy, like, a little came boy. around and like passed out plates and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it was so cute. Yeah. Everyone kept filming him because they all, everyone just thought he was adorable. But then we had to get the shuttle back to our Airbnb, which it was running late again. Whatever. But the real experience here was. <laughs> So it, again, it's like a one lane road type of thing. And there's a, a, a van coming up towards us and we're about nose to nose with them. And so the one van in front of us is backing up, backing up. And so we're following them. And then we get next up next side of them. And well, there's probably that much room. <laughs> so and tight. these are all like stick shift vans. And the guy's on the phone like this, like talking to someone. <laughs> His like, radios going off <laughs> it's like i don't know how we didn't like at least tap mirrors it was yeah, nuts this is, he got everyone through in it, the though. van because there were other people from the restaurant in the mm -hmm. van with us we're all like Ooh. yeah it was i was impressed though we were like i was like this kind of this ride home kind of like kind of sucked a little bit but i'm like yeah. but that kind of that kind of made it, it more <laughs> kind of made it more interesting so yeah. <laughs> anyways yeah. It's been a very long day, yeah. a very long night. It took us a long time to get back from dinner, but it was really, really fun. We mm -hmm. highly recommend checking it out if yeah. you're here. I mean, it's kind of a little touristy, but it's a really cool experience. The view's great, the service is great, the food's great. It's just not like a traditional go sit down at a restaurant kind of thing. No. And I mean, it was 40 euros a person, so, or 45 euros a person? 45 a person. Yes, yeah, so it was 90 euros for both of us, which is definitely more than we like to spend on dinner. Yeah. Like, let's make that clear, but, but it was a ton of food. I mean, it was so much food. Yeah. So we're gonna go sleep this one off. We have a big day tomorrow. We're gonna go on a hike if we can get up in the morning. <laughs> And then we're also gonna go to the beach, so it should be a lot of fun.